Ladies and gentlemen, most Americans believe that the U.S. economy has collapsed. So more than half of Americans think the U.S. has already entered into a recession, according to new polls. So they did a survey and it was published recently and they were saying the Economic Optimism Index found that 53% of Americans think the economy is already in a recession. 25% said they are unsure and 20% said no, this country is not in a recession. Even amid uncertainty, concerns have dramatically risen over the last month. Back in May, less than half of Americans, 48%, said the economy was in a downturn. 23% said the U.S. was not in recession. The recession fears have surged in recent weeks, with inflation reaching a 40-year high last week, and the Dow Jones average fell 30,000 points for the first time in a year and a half. This week, the U.S. entered the bear market for the first time since 2020, making the first bear market of President Joe Biden's presidency. The term bear market is used when the stock market drop at least by 20 percent for an extended period, signaling, um, you know, an economic downturn is what they don't want to see. What that's what's going on. The new poll also suggests that most Americans don't think the economy will improve anytime soon. Wow. Only two in 10 Americans think things are on their way up. The lowest confidence rating recorded when analyzing the index monthly reports dating back to January 2021. The nation is also concerned about Biden's ability to handle the economy. Even Democrats lack confidence in Biden, with only 45% giving the president a good grade. Mm -mm -mm. So uh, the polls also found that more than 8 in 10 Republicans and nearly 6 in 10 independents gave Joe Biden, a failing grade on the economy. The numbers could spell trouble for the Democrats, who will be hoping to hold on to many congressional seats. And um, we know the midterms are in November. Recent polls indicate the inflation and rising prices are a top issue for most Americans, with more than eight in 10 saying that the economy will be a key issue in determining how they'll vote in the midterm elections. And if the state of the economy remains precarious after the midterm and a reelection win for Joe Biden may even be more difficult than it is already. If inflation isn't marginally better by 2024, the Democrats will be forced to swim upstream against the electorate uh, that is financially pressed. Mm -mm -mm. So this is not good. So most Americans are very pessimistic about the economy. And they already said, you know, most are saying we've been in a recession. And a lot of my subscribers believe that too. So do I, you know. When you see the inflation out here with the food and gas and, and just virtually everything now, rent, you have no reason to believe that this is going to turn around soon. I mean, look, Janet Yellen already said the rest of 2021, you're going to be dealing with the high inflation. And they said the shortages are indefinite. They can't even tell you when the shortages will end, if they will ever end. I don't think they will. And look, they didn't even resolve the baby formula situation. That's still ongoing. 
So ladies and gentlemen, and just think when they get that baby formula back on the shelf, you can best believe you won't be paying more money for that baby formula. Get ready. They're going to inflate those prices as soon as it hits the shelves. But y'all, please tell me what you think about the vast majority of America of Americans already said the economy has collapsed. Very interesting. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.